If you're doing the beginner class, why don't you come on yonder? Yay! Casino dancing. A surveillance camera. All right. Eh, kinda. I'm Steven. Hey, you're an artist. Can you film stuff? We're gonna be dancing a dance called Casino. Oh, the rest of this is pretty nice. Yeah, man, come through. That sometimes people call Cuban salsa. Sure, I'm open to trying it. I'll dust off my old communications degree. See if I still know how to work a camera. And if you go to Versailles and Cayocho and call it Cuban salsa, an old Cuban guy is gonna yell at you probably. Well, sir, I certainly hope that you find our new immersive class experience more pleasing. So the name of the dance is, is actually uh, Casino. Known as Cuban Salsa in air quotes. So buckle in from the opening spiel all the way through. This is the first class of an eight week casino series. Looks simple. If you like this style, you find it useful for either learning the moves or you can take something for your teaching. But simple doesn't always mean easy. Leave a comment. And although it is kind of difficult, I will say that what you have going for you is that we're really good at teaching it. You probably wanted to learn casino because it looked like fun. So even if the moves take a little while to get comfortable with, if you're starting from zero and you're dancing some of the basics at like a one or two stars, remembering that the dance is attractive because the people who dance it look like they're having fun. If you can express that same enjoyment that you saw that attracted you to the dance in the first place, it's only gonna help how your dancing looks and feels because it's part of the dance itself. So with that, let's start off with a little bit of music and we're just gonna go through some do what I do kind of stuff. It's gonna be like a Zumba class, kind of, but a little more annoying. All right, so we're just gonna start off with a little two step. Two step. Two step. Two step. Two step. Two step. Good. 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 And so, just for practice, just for practice, get in the habit of as opposed to have like hostage arms like this. If you just put a little bed in them and just leave them like they're on a table, it'll be easier to. Keep, keep this habit here. All right. And so right now, what we're doing with this little two-step here is if I was going to partner dance with her, I'm just going to sync up with my partner, sync up with the music, just with this two-step. And so the next thing we're going to do, once we're all good here, is we're going to start stepping out the cadence of the dance. And so the cadence is going to be and no matter what we do from here, we always keep the same cadence. It never, never stops. Okay. So step, 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 step. Good. All right. Let's go back to that two step. So just two step, two step, two step, two step, two step. So on the next one, we're gonna step it out. Not yet. Five, six, five, six, eight. Step, 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 out, out. Hey! Hey! Hip hop ray! I know someone's old enough in here to know hip hop ray. Out! 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 Good! Let's uh, have the front line move to the back row from the two step. Two step. Two step. Step it out. Here we go. Hey! So now we're gonna do small back rock. Small back rock at the heel. Just back a little bit. Beautiful. So now we're gonna see if we can move with it side to side. Cross over, cross over, cross over. Cross over, cross over, cross over. So, so far so good? Kind of, sort of? All right, so real quick, to get like the outline of the rhythm, so just to find all the downbeats, the song's going, these are the downbeats, I've got tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. So what we're gonna do is align the tap with the left foot to be one in the music. Five, seven, one, three, 
five, seven. And then from there, when we apply the cadence, we're going to take three steps and then a, a, a pause where we don't step. Three steps, no step. So that's going to go one, two, three, four, we don't step. Five, six, seven, eight, we don't step. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Together, together, out. Together, together, out. Together, together, out. Together, together, out. And so how, it looks good. How this one's going to go is basically is if it was uh, the first year I've been in North Carolina where it didn't snow. Um, so, but if there was like a little bit of snow on the ground, I would have footprints right here and footprints right here. So the first two steps are together, together. Just right underneath yourself, just like you were marching in place. Together, together. And then I step about just under my armpit. So I want to step under myself and beneath myself and not beyond myself. So I'm going to step underneath my armpit and then two steps in place here. Together, together, and then underneath my armpit. Together, together, out. 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 That sounds so good. Ah, that sounds so good. So listen to your feet for a second. Do you hear how that third one has a little bit of like extra? You want to keep that same feel going throughout the dance. So when you emphasize this one and this one and this one and this one, the dance has like a particular aesthetic. So even when I'm not doing this step, everything that I do from here, I emphasize that third step. And so what can happen sometimes is that like people worry about when they have to start stepping, which is the, the one and the five, and it can look kind of clunky. And you tend to like rush through. You're like early for the party. You're like people who are real psyched about Monday. Like <laughs> nerds. I love Monday, it's my favorite. But like, but so sometimes when people are dancing salsa, it gets this like real heavy aesthetic where they're really smashing the first step that they have to take. But if you listen to how your feet were sounding, it was like <laughs> if you can keep that same lightness of the third step. Everything's going to look beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's rotate the front line to the back and everyone else move up. So let's go from Paso de Son. Ready? So five, this is step is called Paso de Son, by the way. Huh? Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Can, can, can. 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 Good. And so that same, all right, we're going to keep that in mind when we start back rocking a little bit. So the most definitive step of the back rock is when we step backwards like this. But just because we're doing that doesn't mean that you have to like smash this like you're trying to kill a, a roach or anything like that. It just, it, 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 the, the emphasis is still going to go on the third step. So, ba, ba, out. Ba, ba, out. Oh, beautiful. That sounds so good. All right, well, it's rushing a little bit. Gan, gan, out. Da, da, out. Da, da, out. And so doing this stuff, by the way, where we're just listening to the feet is really good for like building like internal rhythm. So I'm a big fan of dancing the music and all that stuff, but you have to be able to have your own rhythm, especially when you get lost in the music because the music is going crazy. You have to be able to rely on your own internal rhythm in the cadence of your feet to save you through the storm. Good. So we got a little back, a little back. Good. All right. So that's real good. Uh, we're going to use that little teeny tiny back rock that we did to start moving side to side. And so it's a teeny tiny back rock because if I step majorly back this way, it's hard for me to, to move myself this way, which is where I'm going. So I'm going to step a little bit back of the heel and then move and then move. So I'm stepping a little bit behind my heel with my left foot to move towards my left. And when I go over here, I'm going to step a little bit back with my right foot to move towards my right. So I'm going to go back cross in front, and then step out. So that third step is just going to collect my balance. Wherever it falls, it falls, all right? But the emphasis I don't want to be on the back rock, the emphasis you want to be on moving, all right? So back, cross, and then out. Back, cross, out. Back, cross, out. Back, cross, out. Back, cross, out. 
back, cross, out. So I want to move side to side to side. This looks good. I feel like I'm getting like set up. I feel like this is like, because everyone like has it pretty good. It feels like this is like a trick or something like that. It's like this is what we're going to do. I would say if it, was my, if it was my 40th birthday and this was happening, I'd be like, okay, I get it. A little on the nose, 40 people in the class. It's all actors and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This looks good. This is 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 good. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Beautiful. This is surreal. Let's uh, rotate the back. Told you we were good. I mean, let's rotate. All right, let's go from a little back crossover kind of a thing we got going on. Ready? So five, six, seven, and back cross over. Back, cross, 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 over. So just keep doing it. Ba, 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 e. Ba, ba, ba. Go, let's go right back to the back rock. So a little step back. Don't worry about moving yet. Ba, ba. Step, step, step. Step, step, step. Step, step, step. Step, step, step. Step, 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 let's move with it now. And back, cross, over. Back, cross, good. Back, cross, over. Back, cross, over. Keep on going. Back, cross, over. So the good thing about all these steps right here is they are used all the time with what we're gonna learn in the next eight weeks. So we're gonna warm up every class with these steps. And once we get them like in our muscle memory and so that they're automatic. Learning the turns is gonna be no problem. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, so I'm playing music again. We're gonna go from our little two-step. Let's do it together. So we're gonna go from the two-step. So tap and then step. There's a preview. Tap and then step. Tap, step, paso, son, step it out. In place, in place, 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 out. Back rock a little. Here we go. Little back rock. Just at the heel. Nothing too big. Back at the heel. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Let's move with it now. Back, cross, over. 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 Back, cross, over, back, cross, over. Let's do some music. Do we feel good? We should. It's looking good. I'm not, I don't do toxic positivity. If it was bad, I'd tell you too. Song's going. I hear a rhythm somewhere. Now I'm just gonna put the two steps to that. So I got tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. Master song, step it out. Here we go. The best you can, if you can get in the habit of having your arms about tabletop height, just in this little frame right here, it'll make you look like you're having fun as opposed to being held hostage, and it will help with the steps, believe it or not, even though it feels kind of nerve-wracking to have them up. Good. So now let's start moving with it. Okay, let's step it out. Hey. Step, step, out. Step, step, out. Step, step. Okay, little back rock. Teeny tiny. Now let's move with it. Good. Beautiful. 
Let's have the front line from the back. Back line from up. Step it out, five, six, go, and step, step out, step, step out, step, step out, step, step out. All right, back right. So, we got to establish a, a partner connection here, all right? So, the way I'm going to do that is, surprise, um, <laughs> so, so the way that I'm going to do that is basically put my arm, my right arm on her shoulder blade, and I'm going to have my left arm out like that, and we're going to pretend there's a $100 bill in the farm that we don't want to let go. That's at least like how I like to do it, and she likes it, so let's do it like that, all right? So I got my right arm on her shoulder blade. Go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah. And so what the the, the angle and stuff like that, we want to be shish kebobbed. Yeah, she's a cherry tomato. I'm a green pepper. We're next to each other on a skewer on a barbecue like that. So basically not like not like this and not like this and not like that. It's just like whoosh, like this. So there's a spike going right through our chest like that. All right. So with that, let's have the leads face their chests towards the mirror, all right? And so basically the leads should be facing the mirror, the file should be facing the back wall, all right? And so eventually when you get cool and you know a bunch of stuff, you wanna get lazy and you wanna kinda of open up a little bit and act like you don't care, uh, that comes later. But for now, let's do it real by the book. So what can help this connection is if you, if you roll your shoulders back and down and kinda of not like, not like your chest is out like this, but if you kind of act like there's a, there's like a, let's use another hundred dollar bill. You're trying to squeeze with these muscles right here, just a little bit like that, roll the shoulders back and down. Um, that's gonna give you a nice like tension in your upper body because everything needs to stay uh, con connected right here. All right, so you roll the shoulders back and down. All right, and the scaps back a little bit. All right, and then you get this connection like this. The one thing you wanna make sure of here is that there's no space here. So sometimes, like, if she doesn't trust you and stuff like that, she might do something like this, where she's like, I'm not ready for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. But we can't really do anything with that. That's real difficult to, to do. So I'm, my, I'm just gonna let her arm rest on my, on my arm. But when I say rest, I don't really mean that. I mean look like it's resting, because we can't support you just being like, like that for the entire dance. So see how like when I walked away from her, she's still like this? That's what we're going for, just no, no space right here. All right, so we got this connection. Feel somewhat comfortable? All right, now let's see if we can go ahead and step out a little two-step just to start. All right, so we got our connection. Music's going, doom, da, da, ding, da, 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 whatever. All right, we're gonna go tap, and then step. That song sucks, tap, step, tap, step. Tap, and step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. All right, everyone feels connected? Yeah, so basically, if the leads, like if you weren't kind of going off, of, if the files couldn't hear, the files, if you had to just go off whatever the leads were, were doing, you would just have to go to whatever song would be playing in his head. All right? <laughs> No. And sometimes, even when the music is playing, there's a different song playing in his head. And you gotta roll with that sometimes. I was, you know, that's unfortunate. But, but yeah. So, all right, let's do that. We're gonna have the, we're gonna have the leads pick their own rhythm. Files, don't worry about what I'm doing, what she's doing, what anyone next to you is doing. You're just gonna go off of what the lead is doing. So the lead's gonna just two step something out, nice and even. All right, and the files just gotta roll with it. We're all dancing to different songs. Might not be the same song. If you want to cheat off my song, you can. But this is going to be the easiest thing to follow for the entire dance, so let's just enjoy the lead, leadness and followness of this. So the next thing we're going to do 
is we're gonna step out paso song. But I wanna do some ridiculous stuff first. Let's uh let's face the mirror real quick. Alright. And so remember how we were doing paso song, it was together, together, out, together, together, out, together, together, out, together, together, out, like that. Alright, so our arms were here. When we get into like what the body movement is, basically it's like you're drawing circles with your hands, but it's driven by the torso, and you got this isolation, you got some forward and back with the shoulders, and you put it together and you get this thing. But we're not there yet. Uh, we're just getting the feet. So what we're going to do for the, for the arm um, in the torso isolation up here, we, we got an apple tree over here and a kiwi bush over here, whatever kiwis grow on. All right, and we're just in between whether we want an apple or a kiwi, and it's very indecisive. So apple, kiwi, apple. Hold the pause. Think about the, ap- the kiwi, though. Kiwi, apple, kiwi. All right? And so if we can get that going, all right, so with the, w- driven by the torso a little bit, all right, not with the hands, just the hands, driven by this little the torso movement here, all right, I want to go one, two, three, five, six, seven. Good? One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, this looks shockingly good. Uh, now, just while we're doing it, I didn't see anyone do it, but you want to make sure that your hips, for just for the purpose of this drill, just kind of hang out in place. So not... Not any, any of that. Just the hips are hanging out here, and we're just like torso up. So one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, I love it. This is weird. Okay, so while we're doing that is once we get into close, I want to show real quick what not to do um, or what might happen. And it's okay, it's a first class, but let's try to avoid it if we can, if possible, all right? is sometimes, sometimes this happens, all right? So we got the feet, two, three, five, six, seven. But the upper body, everyone turns into Axl Rose real quick. All right, yeah, and so, um, yeah, so we want to avoid that. So we want, when we're with the partner, go ahead, we'll do this one next. We get, um, get my partner, the arm stretched out like this. I want to go side to side from the torso and leave the arms parallel. Don't crash the airplane. And so for this one, this is one, be careful. Don't, don't start moving the hip side to side or anything like that. Just the torso up for the purpose of the drill, okay? So we're going side, side, side. Side, side, side. Side, side, side. Side, side, side. Good. And so what's going to happen there is the shoulders are going to stay nice and parallel to the ground. There's not going to be any, any dippage. This is probably another, yep. This is probably, this is like, that's probably like another dance that it's supposed to happen with, but it's not supposed to happen. The, yeah, that's awesome, bro. That's so cool. All right, so the shoulders are going to stay parallel to the, to, to the ground, all right? And so where this comes in, so we're not going to necessarily do this, but one of, the, one, of the, one of the arms is actually going to do that, and the spirit of the other arm is going to be over here doing it. But if we put any arm articulation into the basic, it's just going to be this little bit right here. If I want to exaggerate the shit out of it, like I was doing a performance and being super Cuban casino-y, I can do it like that. But, again, what I want to make sure it doesn't happen is this little dip like that. Okay? So now that we've done a bunch of drills on it, let's see if we can just do it um, with, uh, with the right little body movement here. Okay? So we'll go five, six, seven. It's going to go together, together, out. Together, together, out. So we'll just get the feet under us to start. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. 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 Five, six, seven. Okay, so in this case... The kiwi is out of the is out of the equation. All right, so we're only we're we're like apple or intermittent fasting, basically. So so it's apple. No, it's not my eating window. I don't care. I deserve it. It's like ah, I want abs for the summer. Nah, it's not going to happen. Nah, maybe I can give it a try. All right, that's what's going to be one, two, three, five, six, seven. All right. So just the arms for a second. All right, let's just do just the torso. One, two, three, five, six, seven. 
one, two, three, five, six, seven. But it's coming from the whole torso. It's not just the arm. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try this with a new friend. <clears throat> All right, the music is going. Duka panka tiki kung kung one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a one, two, three, kung kung five, six, seven, kung. Step it out on the next one. Five, six, seven, and step, step, step. Kung kung, kung kung, kung kung, kung kung, kung kung. All right, how's it feel? Feel okay? Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. Passo song coming up, here we go, and step, 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 E, 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 step, step, out, 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 step, step, out. Okay. All right. Let's uh, feel. Does it feel pretty okay? Yes. And so look, my uh, my approach to all this is like I said, I, I get like detail, and even when we get to stuff, it's a little harder. It feels weird. It's gonna feel less weird next week. Feel less weird the week after that. We we repeat it. So slow is smooth, smooth is fast, kind of a thing. So if you're enjoying the class so far and you'd like to see the rest of the series filmed the same way, please leave a comment. If you're finding the instruction helpful and you'd like to see this material in a lot more covered in excruciating detail, you can check out the Casino Level One Digital Course, which is a hundred dollars off with promo code YouTube. So if you feel like like a newborn, like like deer, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, baby, baby giraffe. Yes, it, you won't. You'll feel less like that as we do it more. Yes. Hi. Hi. I just want to clarify. So yes, we always, as follows, we always start on the right because that's something I know that. For 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 num for number rules and stuff like that. Yeah. So for yeah for the class, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it where one is always the leads left, follows right, uh, and all the numbers are gonna trickle down from there. But um, but yeah, in like in like in real dance land, you know, it might it might kind of be whatever. For the purpose of the course, we just dance it on one, two, three, five, six, seven. But uh, but yeah, for like real world applications, that might not always be the case. But basically, the shorthand, if if you know anything about music counts, dance, whatever, wherever you put this tap right here, that's what is going to be the count that you wind up dancing on. So for this case, it's going to be one. So one. Three, five, seven, one, three, five. I prepare on seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So one and three is going to be your right foot. Five and seven is going to be your left and backwards for the leads. Let's cram up back into the back of the room as best as possible with, with the partner that we got. All right, we're just going to do a little something. We're going to do uh, Paso de Son, but we're going to move forward with it. All right? And, you know, you guys made the mistake of kind of like doing good, like right from the jump. So I'm going to be annoying about trying to put a little bit of this apple, no apple kind of a thing into it as we walk forward. Okay? All right. Now, if you feel like you're starting to do this stuff, then just don't worry about the damn apple. But, like, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> all right. So we'll go pass this on in place, and then we'll start moving, right? So in place, five, six, seven, and together, together, out. 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 Let's go forward. Together, together, out. So still side to side, but we're putting a little bit of traveling into it. Boom, boom, ah. Doom, doom, ah. Doom, doom, ah. Doom, doom, ah. Doom, doom, ah. Don't 
Don't, don't. Ah. All right, so keep it, uh, keep it in place right here. All right, so what I want to do is keep the same cadence going, keep the same steps going, everything like that. Who's, whose shoulders are tired? Mine. <laughs> yep. If I want to face the back uh, wall, I got a couple options. One, I can just hope that she's going to like back lead me into doing it, and I'll be like, okay. Like, I, I did it. But if I want to like, actually like, facilitate it happening, I just have to keep this good connection here, all right? And I have to trust that she's going to feel what I am communicating with my frame. And we're going to keep the shish kebab thing going like this. So if there was a skewer going through us, it's going to stay like that the whole way until she's facing the mirror and I'm facing this way, all right? So I'm just going to... The first thing is I can think about, like, looking where I want to be facing. So where you're looking, you're going you're gonna to follow there. All right, so let's just see if we can go from paso son and then just like no more than an eight count. See if we can start facing that way. All right, so from, the two, uh, from paso son, ready? Five, six, seven, and together, together, out. Together, together, out. Together, together, out. Let's go for it. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Are we facing that way? Good, keep going. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, let's go again. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, let's go again. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, let's go back to our four line kind of a thing. We went over some of the, the fundamentals of the connection and the, some of the body movement that's like some of the more like difficult stuff to go over, um, you know, in terms of uh, in terms of the partner work, but it's like pervasive throughout throughout the entire dance is making sure that we keep that uh, that connection. But what we did was the basic step in closed position, which is where we start the dance. Basic step, meaning that um, we're just staying in that same position. So in casino, you can kind of divide it up into three positions. So closed position is where shish kebabed her in front of me. All right, and so then there's another position where she's on my right shoulder, and then there's a more fun position where she's on my left hand. And so this is where probably, um, you know, all the, like, fancy stuff that you saw that, like, made you want to, like, learn how to do all this stuff, it all happens from over there. That's, like, the fun part, but we're not... This is why I do an eight-week series, because you don't get to the fun part until next time. Um, so we start off, you have to eat your vegetables. Okay, all right, so this is vegetable class, but like eventually we get there. Um, but the basic step basically means I'm, I'm staying in one position. So this position enclosed has its basic step, which is what we did. This position also has its own basic step, which is we're going to do last because it's a pain in the ass. And then this position also has its own basic step. So it's like, what's the basic step of casino? There's kind of three. Um, and so we did one of them. But basic steps just mean you stay in one position. So... What we did was pasta de son, which is the basic step in closed position. And what we're going to do now is put some rotation into this closed position with a move called adios. All right? And so what we want, the first part of adios is turning 180 degrees. So I want to go from pasta son, one, two, three, I'm getting bored. I'm going to go one, two, and on three, I'm going to start rotating, looking over my right shoulder. And then I'm going to keep stepping five, six, seven, and see if I can make it 180 degrees by seven. All right? So for the leads, and, and again, is 99.99999% of the time, the follows are not like, man, I wish he would lead me less strongly than he's leading me. <laughs> Usually, they want a little bit more guidance. Um, and so the trick to not feeling like you're like, being like herky jerky with them and like like oh, I want it to be too much. Uh, it's not going to be too much if you don't be herky jerky with them. If you keep the, if you keep the connection constant, you can't just be like a dead fish like here and just be like let's go over here yank. Like as you ha that you want to establish that connection and you just keep it constant the entire time. So the shoulders back and the pinch and the whole thing. And so even though we're not doing a lot, we've got a real strong connection here. Uh, I told Mercedes to think of it like I'm giving her a hug uh, and there's a busu ball in between us. She thought of it. If you can imagine that, um, that there's a busu ball there, but you still want to hug the person, that's the sort of tension that you want to have and connection that you want to have. Um, 
I thought of it, she stole it. I'm just kidding. So here, if I keep the same connection, then wherever we go, we can, like, I don't have to worry about feeling like I'm just kind of like throwing her around because it's not like a sudden movement. It's a connection that we started with. So let's see if we can, the leads can do this. We're going from paso son, two, three, five, six, seven. Move's going to go like this. We set it up on three. So instead of, toge instead of together, together, out, we go together, together, and then just open up, just give your left shoulder to the mirror a little bit. And then you keep this frame here and think about turning to face the back wall for five, six, seven. So let's try that. Ready? Pass this on five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Basic, basic, not yet. Basic, 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 hang out in the basic. One, two, three. Adios, here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah? Did we kind of make it? Let's do it again. 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 All right. Pass this on. Ready? Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven. Adios, coming up. Five, six, let's go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Cool. Okay. Let's smartly rotate the follows. Here we go. Pass this on. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Adios, here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, we made it there. This is the nerve wracking part because, like, we got to keep the rotation going. And right here, it's real scary to think of, like, I might step on her foot or something like that. This is why I like this. And I like thinking about the shish kebab thing. I like thinking about the hugs of the booster ball thing. I'm going to keep my steps going and just think about trying to look towards the mirror um, at, the end of, at the end of the count. All right, so we set up on three. It goes one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try it. All right, here we go. Pass to this one. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Basic, basic, basic. One, two, three, five, six. Adios. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six. Do we make it? One, two, keep going. Five, six, basic. Don't stop. Man, songs are like five, six minutes. You gotta keep going. All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six. Adios. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Keep rotating. Five, six. Back to paso song. Two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Let's smartly rotate the follows. Two steps. Two steps. Puzzle song coming up. Five, six, go. And step, step out. 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 Adios coming up. Five, six, go. And one, two, three. Five, six, keep rotating, two, three, five, six, seven. So for the seven, I want the least to think about being able to look in the mirror. All right? Five, six, seven. One, two, adios. Five, here we go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Let's smiley rotate. So the first seven, I'm going to be facing the back. Seven, the face of the front. So one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six. Adios, let's go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six. Adios, let's go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Adios, on the next one. Here we go. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. Adios, on the next one. Here we go. And one, two, three.
It's good. It's good. All right. All I want to do, just like for three minutes, I'm going to give a little sneak preview of the next thing we're going to do next week, just so we can like have it go intrinsical when we sleep and stuff like that. All right. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to be in closed position. All right. Good, good, good. I'm going to do this little rotating thing just to change it up a little bit. All right. I'm now sick of being in closed position because I want to start doing turns and stuff because that's why I took the damn class. All right. And so I got to, the road to get there is we got to do that. All right. So I'm going to have all the fouls go over on this side of the room, over yonder. All the leads go over here. <laughs> so, so if the fouls are in closed position like this, we got one, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, well, this movement is going to have us end up facing the back wall. All right, there's a little half basic of pasta zone. It goes one, two, three. All right, and then real small steps. We're going to walk towards the mirror, but like barely walk towards the mirror. Small. Five, six, seven. And then pivot and face the back wall. And the trick with this little pivot right here, I'm going to teleport, is you want to end up so that you can cheat off her. All right? You want no weight on the right foot, but the right foot's in front. All right? Because basically you walk left, right, left, and a little pivot like that. But you keep the weight on the left leg, left foot. All right? Yeah. All right. All right. So, so basically, if you want to cheat off somebody in the front, you look at her, in the back, you look at her, you'd be golden, all right? All right, we don't have to do anything like that. All right, so basically, we're doing pasta zone, all right? So we got one, two, three, five, six, seven. We do one, two, three, just like normal. One, two, three. You got to imagine your busu ball thing is right here. You got to get your fat right leg out of the way, all right? So you can put it behind, you can put it just in place, whatever. And you're going to be bring her this way, and you're going to give her a little pivot to face the mirror. All you got to do, small, small, small steps, you're going to go right, left, right. And you want to step across. Yeah, see how her right foot is like forward like that? That's what you want. But, but small, but small, all right? So it's going to go from the base, two, three, five, six, here we go. It's going to go one, two, three, five, six, and step towards the mirror like that, all right? So now just for some imagining exercises, you have a whole person that you're responsible for that you gotta make do stuff with your upper body. So you're gonna feel kind of twisted. See what she just did right there? The little scoopy scoop like that. You're trying to get her to walk three steps and at the end, pivot like that, all right? So with your arm, you're bringing her five, six, and a little scoop, and you want the palm of your hand to be facing the mirror as you do it. So you go from the basic, it's one, two, three, five, here we go. One, two, go, five, six, seven. Yeah, all right? So if she's leading me, it's gonna go like one, two, three, five, here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Like that, that's what, that's what we're after, all right? Do it a couple times, ready? Yep. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, no. So how do you how do you do you have to make some kind of make yeah. the back so she can also need to complete turn? Yeah. To so you're the yeah, you're responsible for everywhere that she goes or don't go. So if like you want her to go and she doesn't, that means she is not she's not getting the signal. So you have to bring her with your torso, but the whole torso you gotta bring her and at the end you want her to face that way. So you just change the way your palm is pointing. So you gotta kinda just with the upper body? You gotta just go like this, and then a little scoop at the end. To put the palm cord. Yeah. So it's like a little, whoop, and a little push like that. All right. Let's do a couple times. So five, six, seven. One, two, three, five. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right. One more. So here we go. Five, six, basic. And one, two, three, five. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, cool. We're just going to feel it out. We had, wherever we were, let's just go there. Um, we had a real good first class. Everything looks real good. No wacky body movement. Looks nice. So we did Paso de Song. Adios. And this is Entrada. All right. So we got Paso de Song. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Not yet, not yet. 
five. Let's stop right here talking about it real quick. We got half basic pasta song. One, two, three. This is a moment of truth. So I got to, for the leads, you got to do your footwork, but you also have to guide her to walk three steps this way and then pivot her to face the mirror. It's going to go five, six, seven, swoosh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. So the leads hip, yeah. See how he's all twisted up and uncomfortable? It's exactly how you should be. Yeah. <laughs> his hips are forward, but the booster ball thing is here. He's using his whole upper body. Yeah. We're not going to like hang out there for an extended period of time, but that's what, that's what you want. All right, so whatever you might do in the dance for other stuff, I'm not gonna like follow her like, 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 like this. Um, I'm gonna leave, <clears throat> all right? So basically, the, lead, the way that we're gonna learn the moves, the lead is like a compass, and you're pointing north, and the positions you're in are just based off of where the follow is relative to the lead. So although I don't just like stay looking at myself in the mirror for the entire dance, although it would kind of be, Fun, I guess um, my my overall energy stays that way. I can look at her and whatnot if I guess if I have to, but like like I'm still very like forward with the way that I'm facing, so that the positions stay defined. So she's on my right shoulder, she's on my right right shoulder. All right, so let's go. Pass this on. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five. Here we go. Half a basic, then bring her over. Five, six, seven. That looks great. We're gonna pick it up there next week. Thank you so much. So that's what I cover it in the first class. If you'd like to see classes two through eight filmed in the same way, please leave a comment. If you'd like to join the classes, you can fly from Hong Kong like my man here, or you can check out the Casino Level One digital course. Everything you need to learn casino at your own pace from the comfort of your own home. $100 off with promo code YouTube. D Lecano, one, two, three, five, six, seven. And so when I'm done here, I want to make sure that my ending position.